Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game. Today I'm looking at the relatively new Dungeon Reels Tactics. It is a party-based RPG roguelike with slot machine combat? <laughs> I don't really understand how that all comes together, but we'll figure it out as we go. You have the branching pathway style of something like, say, the Spire, I'm sure we'll learn as we go. I won't get ahead of myself here. You can auto scratch, but I do like that it gives the option to try to scratch. Oh, is are these my choices of party members? So there's the witch, the warrior, and I, I missed what the other <laughs> one is. Uh, I, I'm sure I could check again. The duelist. None of them comes with specific stats. They all come with a variety of things. Focus Strike, Blinding Strike, Heavy Strike, and Acrobatics. Um, select a party member. Do you know what? I'm going to go with the Duelist because they're probably... The Warrior. The Warrior is probably the most basic. Multi Strike, Overhand Strike, Blade Storm, Shield, Charge. Blade Storm is like a, a special one, it looks like. And Whirlwind. So we have our first member... I get to do a few. I, I also get rewards. The time walker. No, this is this is entirely a party building still. The gun slinger, and the branded. I don't really know what that means. What is the branded? I have a warrior guy. We could get a gun. He looks like he's all fire based. Let's get a gun, gun based guy on the team. That sounds fun. So I'm starting with two people. Venture forward. Excellent. Now you have a party of mostly competent adventurers. They're all level one. I kind of feel like they don't have a lot of anything. It's funny how this advances as I'm putting the mouse on the correct thing. There's something kind of like smart about that. Warmer, warmer. It's like, that's like pretty intuitive. So select an encounter. I probably want... A couple battles, and then whatever that tunnel will be, and then the question mark. That's the path I'm, I'm committing to based on the limited amount of stuff I know from similar games. Sl Slotshire? Oh, that wasn't actually being narrated. Well, these companions, they wander into a Slotshire. Ah, I love the rush of battle. All these years of being a warrior, I think it's time to start playing my war- Planning my warrior death. You're not even 30. You have a long life to live. I'm, I personally am going to be 30 in a little over a month. <laughs> nope. It's time to start challenging tougher and tougher opponents until I die. <laughs> Just round things out. No need to live beyond that. That is a rich, full life. All I need is a clean line of sight and then bang. No more great evil. This is really fun. This means... They put some effort in, like, scripting these characters. I don't know if their interactions are unique based on the pairing. If I would have done Gunslinger and then Warrior, would that have affected things? Uh, will they always have unique dialogue based on how they're paired together? Like, maybe. That could be really fun. We are fresh Dungeoneering certif Certificate Certification Program graduates. Certificate Certification, hey? Now we can join the gold rush of pilfering the Great Evil's dungeon treasures. The biggest score is the Great Evil's private collection. Why are we sitting around? Let's go! It's, it's such a fun, delightful little warm-up to what will be a, a limited adventure. Tons of information being put out for us there. Uh, there's ability to look around. Those guys had the, the first roll, I guess. I got several gun things, but three completely unrelated gun rolls, which makes me think I won't properly be able to do any of them. Let's clear through some of this stuff. You can move around, you can rotate. Arachnoid and a pair of spearmen. This is the gunslinger. Where's where's my warrior at? He's He's out here. So, where can I position you where you can still shoot from? Oh, you'll gain three random abilities per turn. So that's what the mage, the, the big list of like 10 different things was. And there was repetitions of them. You'll have a random selection from out of that. I thought it would be something like that. It makes a lot more sense once it's uh, in action. Maybe I'll move them closer to one another. So I'll, I'll kind of get some distance if I move across like that. 
Will I be near enough to anything to to attack it? I gotta get used to the camera controls. Rapid fire, three spaces away is maybe what that means, two and five, so missile strike. I think I can get away with doing a missile strike. Heck yeah, that's gonna be fun. And it seems like it'll hurt the other guy as well. So let's give that a go. I've selected my target and now I can execute it. I think I hurt both of them. The camera whips around like crazy. Aw, oh, it didn't. It's just that he was in range, I, I believe. So I've used that up and there's not really anything else I can do there. Uh, that, that'll be the end of his turn. I wish I could alter the, the tilt. That's the, th I don't really like the angle on this. Are you sure you want to end the turn? Yeah, I'm, I'm not in range of anything else. And now my warrior. I managed to get a, a unique selection of things here too. Whirlwind to all enemies within range. Multi-strike, deal three times three to a target and add five shield and hustle two for one turn. Increases speed. So first things first, I'm going to hustle myself, but not, you know, steal away any any money or anything for myself. Hustle as in get a little pep in your step. So if I select Whirlwind and hold shift, it'll show me where to position myself to hurt the most people. So I, it'll, I, I have five potential, I have five available movement, I'll use three of those. And then I will bust out a whirlwind. The shields are probably what's in gray, I'm guessing, now that I'm looking at it. I have, I have no idea if these guys... Zero to nine, they, say they don't have shield right now, so let's whirlwind. That's not at all how I expected the animation to play out, but sure, that does the trick. And who can who could I finish off? Any of them? None of them, I don't think. So I'll, I'll attack any old random one. Not quite enough damage to do them in. Uh, but I can move again after, actually. So I'll try to like run away a little bit for my own protection. And here's where the enemies get their turn to start doing something awfully similar. Shield bailing me out the tiniest bit there. I am within range and he does not have shield any shield blinded decreasing reach he's bleeding so at the start of your turn deal three damage lasts two turns oh no i got weakened now as well armor break uh i'm getting messed up that's a lot of enemies doing a lot of things all at once so i'm kind of hoping for for something pretty major here double tap but that's that's not really in range I would have to move I think to be able to use that on anyone 16 hey oh, 10 that guy will be easy to take out so I think I will just let I'll just position myself here because it's gonna be as simple as shoot the spider shoot this dude and how far away is the warrior actually like one two three four five I could maybe whirling blade again if I got lucky but it's probably in to my benefit to actually kill someone <laughs> do a little bit of murder just to be safe just to be certain so he exhausted the things that were weighing against him. I did manage to get a Whirling Blade again. Overhand Strike. Seven damage to target. Gain Empower, which increases strength. So let's see. what. How much did it do? Seven damage only? Well, I could use something like that to kill this dude. Uh, and then I could Whirlwind my way through. They, they have a lot of health, actually. No, that was myself. I have 48. Okay, it's not that crazy. <laughs> I will activate that because with the Empower, I should do a little extra damage. One times three. That is so lame because I'm being weakened right now. Decrease strength by three, raise it by one. So, yeah, that doesn't 
does not amount to much of anything. That's pretty miserable, honestly. Kind of crap. I love the way he hopped straight over him there. But I should be fine. I die. I, even if they all gang up on my gunslinger, which they aren't doing, it still seemed like I had good odds of making it through that. Ooh, I kind of want to know what the chest is. Didn't get it. Not going to learn today. Deal zero times four. <laughs> as soon as he gets weakened, he's in minus three right now. So no wonder that doesn't do anything. Who could I most kill? <laughs> uh, you you can actually double tap uh, that guy. So that's, that's something you can contribute. 16 and 16, eh? So between... Nope, I can't even finish any of these guys off, because even if I use that, it's just a bunch of zeros. I don't know if it was- I don't know if it's wasteful to use something that's not going to contribute to the battle anyways. I think you re-roll new stuff every turn, so it ends up not mattering. I want to add hustle and shield to, to both of us to try and try and keep us alive. Finish off the guy who I know I can kill. Things are making sense once they get going here. It's uh, a not actually much more involved, but as soon as you factor in the, the grid movement and everything, there is quite a bit to it. Add five shield and apply an empower. I think you should do that. Absolutely. 16. Oh, I wouldn't quite be able to do it with only a single one of the weapons, but there we go. Put them all down. And, 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 turn. <laughs> Ooh, the auto scratch. I, thank you, I appreciate that being an option, but I, I like scratching it myself a lot. Blanks. Drag a relic onto a character's relic slot to equip. Maybe because it's a tutorial, it only had the one thing. Gain one strength, one defense, lose one speed. Uh, there's something fun about having equipment management like that as well. I, I'm appreciative of that. Enemies slain six. Surviving party. So I, I could choose something to upgrade here. Level up two characters to continue. So multi-strike goes from four times three. So 12 damage to 20. That's pretty good. 11 to 17, 6 shield to 10 shield, 8 to 15. I like the Whirlwind. I thought the Whirlwind was a lot of fun. 10 to 15, from 8 up to 12, from 14 up to 22. Sure, I will upgrade one of the missile strikes. Have a, a, a nice big finishing blow style attack. I don't know how much you have to advance through what? So maybe you don't go through three different tiers or whatever it is in Slay the Spire. It's one straight long shot through everything here. Where's my gunslinger at? Oh man, he got slotted pretty late in everything. Okay, but he still ends up getting to go third. Zero damage. Wow, dude. Wait, thanks for trying. Could I have spun it twice? I think it interrupted it because one locked in and it stopped it from going down. So you can't spin an individual thing like that more than once. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh, my speed is down, so I really can't do a lot. So it'll be extra difficult to position myself to do things like whirling blades. Not that it matters that much, because I could fully just kill that guy as was. Mm, unused ability. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do with that there. The juiced up rocket. No, okay. Something crazy just happened. I just shot that guy a bunch. <laughs> okay, so you can spin an individual thing multiple times. Dealt 10 damage to a spearman. And a bleeder? Did I kill two things? The bleeder died. What spearman got hit? Where Where is that happening? This guy. That guy got hit. A crustacean. And that thing over there just got fully killed. That was dope. I was a big fan of all that that just took place. 16. Even just with that simple 
the gunslinger is about to be the best, <laughs> the best character in the game for me, for sure. Uh, is that within range? It is. That was nuts. Soul shards. When an enemy dies, there's a random chance they'll drop a soul shard. Collect it before an enemy does or it disappears and I can get straight to it. Collect soul shards to gain recruit tickets. Expires in two rounds. So you have a, a bit of a time li limit to get to there. The Cyclops. The <laughs> making a Cyclops when you have so little art to work with is, is pretty funny. There, there's so much fanfare for such a simple role like that. I can position myself. I will do uh, an empower, an overhead strike that grants an empower. And then whatever. It, it doesn't matter. It's a, a simple, simple, easy battle. And I have movement left. I have no movement left. So I think this whole thing might end before I had the chance to collect that. That is a shame, actually. Potion and nada. On jackpot, gain two strength. Oh, the jackpot is when you, you roll like what I just did. So this guy has three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Okay, so equally likely to roll jackpots, I think. Uh, I, I'll give it to the gunslinger. Sure, why not? I can, I'm sure I could move that stuff around later if I really wanted. I didn't think that would be enough to level up again. That's a, a quick, immediate benefit. 20 damage is pretty damn good, but maybe I should worry about being able to shield more and adding the hustle. Adding the hustle seems like it would be useful. Having numerous upgraded missile strikes seems comically overpowered. So yeah, that's what I'll do. <laughs> Okay, so the jackpot ability. That's what happened when I got three of the same. Deals 12 damage to three random targets. Gain one reach, gain two strength. That's why those suddenly did 24. Deal 12 damage to three random targets. Gain three shield and one strength for each target hit. So maybe it could miss? It could potentially miss targets? Uh, that remains unclear. I won't have enough to do anything with the soul shards. A fate card. Welcome to the Hands of Fate. Each Fate card contains a cost that must be paid and a boon to help your party. A selection must be made to continue. Like, I don't have gold, so I can't do that. Random character loses 8 health. That would suck for both of them. Random character loses 1 speed. Steal from Barbarians. Ooh, enemies in next encounter gain 3 strength for 2 turns. And a Fate key. Sacrifice target party member member transfer their stats to other party members randomly what so you could just juice up one of your guys like crazy i can't really do that because like i only <laughs> i have nowhere to run i have nowhere to hide Ooh, gain two soul shards so that how many did, did it say i needed two how many did it say i needed to gain an extra party member Target character recovers 50% of max health. How long did they lose speed for? For forever? Because that would suck. I think I kind of need to heal myself. So I, I will apply it to you. Minus one speed, but you're not going to die anymore. That felt important. Let's stop at the mystery thing. Uh, wacky event, who knows? The party gathers round to play a card game. Alright, I got four aces. Bullshit! There's no way you have four aces. Oh yeah? Check these out. I win again. Hey, I have the ace of spades. Where did you get that one? Are you cheating again? What? No! Why would I cheat at a silly card game? We're not even gambling. Seems like a big part of this game is gambling. Because you always cheat and have poor morals. Did I gain something out of that? There's there's like an encounter happening now. So that was just a fun transitional thing. And who knows, maybe I could have found a shop or something. But nope, I just ended up in a battle fighting some spiders and tortoises. I do not really know fully what those have to do with each other. 
I got slowed. My speed is suddenly utter and complete garbage. I, there are numerous things that I could one shot here. Eight, that's not very good. Plus 10, so 18. Yeah, I could kill a few, a few biddies. I, I, I guess I'll attack you first. Oh, he had a shield that I wasn't really paying attention to. Shit. All right, well, I better just commit to killing the thing that I can kill now after doing that. I will attempt to run you away, away the slightest amount. Since right now the warrior kind of feels left high and dry. Crap, now he's blinded as well. A, a pair of two does not matter. Whirlwind also doesn't really matter if things aren't going to cluster themselves together at all. So I better shield myself up. The reach there is of one, so I don't think I can actually do anything. I think his turn's getting ended early. It's a weak, weak turn, I tell ya. I didn't know that rat was there. He was hiding out big time. Went straight for the shield. Seven? Seven damage is what he's gonna do? I don't really know what the numbers mean there, actually, when they show up down there. Really feels like you can't bank on jackpots at all. Yeah, I, I need to beef myself up a little bit. 12 and 12. So he he's 16 total. All right, well, at least I can kill the tortoise. <laughs> There's something kind of comical about shooting the shit out of stuff with a gun. It's like, it's a turtle. I'm just blasting him to bits. With two different types of guns, mind you. Like, slow it down a little bit, man. That's excessive. Like, notably excessive. Oh, no. They're ranged. And they're just going to keep walking away from me. And I have no range. There's, like, nothing I can do except run. Wow. That's really not good. But if I do this... I could grant myself empower? Oh, only if I actually were to attack. I can't just do it. Well, shit, my warrior is in a terrible position. I'm gonna wish I sacrificed him to the fate in order to power up my gunslinger here. He's the only one who's holding any of this together. Oh, I see how that's a rat. That's his tail, his head's in the bottom left there. I truly didn't see it or understand it to begin with. Oh, buddy, not looking good. Come on, powerful jackpot rocket. Nah, not today, still no. That bleeder is doing well. How, how my, my, I, I forgot I, I traded off some of my speed. That is not great, is it? I could shield him to try and keep him alive. The rat has 14. Shoot, it would still take two weapons to kill him. But I think uh, it's basically what I have to do. These arachnids might do in the warrior. Uh, he could live. Jackpot meter full. Your party jackpot meter is full. When the meter is full, you can guarantee a jackpot on one of your character's turns. You will fill this meter by using your abilities, collecting excess gold and soul gems, and losing party members. That is that it in the corner there? Ooh, okay. Interesting. I will trigger it because I need the thing that splashes out and attacks everything randomly because it's the only way I have any chance. It, it's split it across three separate things. So that it really didn't do jack for me. I have no movement. I've been slowed so aggressively. One. I need one. That's all I need right now. Really? Really? <laughs> I can't attack anything? I. It'll be a miracle to make it through this stage. This, this whole attempt may be going... 
right out the drain. I, I don't know, like an itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> Come on, don't gang up on him too hard. I will position myself up ahead here because I should be able to reach numerous targets doing it this way. I will double tap. That's one down. I can reach this guy. You really saved us again. Saved our bacon, Mr. Gunslinger. It's unbelievable how badly I needed that. Options this time. Did I accidentally select one? I may have accidentally selected one. Gain two speed. <laughs> yeah, man, you need you need some speed back. Uh, do I also get gold? Oh, that's automatic. I think I automatically did get that gold. So that's something. Not gonna level up again that time. Damage dealt, shields gained, kills. <laughs> it did all the killing. Uh, total life lost. Really, the difference there isn't as great as I thought it was. I felt like the warrior was getting hammered way harder, but still not great. Oh my god. I still have to go through another encounter before I get a campfire to rest up and try to heal. So the warrior... Just thinking it's not gonna work out too well. Two Cyclopses. The Cyclopses have a lot of speed. That did no damage. Why are they so weak? They gained three shield. That's what they were doing. They were just gaining shield. Mm. That was not an exciting selection of things. 12 and 10. No, 8. 8 and 10. All right, well, I can take out one guy here. Before he even has a chance to have his turn, which is uh, nice. There's like a lot of benefits to that. Mostly just chipping through shield there, but at least it was something. Maybe I could hug up a little closer with the warrior so he doesn't feel all on his own. Totally abandoned. I, I gotta juice. Juice myself up. I'll have so much movement potential, which will be nice. Uh, I can position myself somewhere where a whirlwind will be helpful. My reach... My reach was also increased? My The reach on this is two. Okay. I don't really understand how that guy falls within. Does he? He does. That weirdly doesn't seem like it should have included him. It doesn't count that in some way? I'm... Actually, I, I, I wanted to fully hunker him down and hide him, but now at this point, he has a lot of shield. He might actually stay alive because of having those multiple shields in one turn like that. It's not looking great for me, but I, he's certainly in a better position than I thought he was. You guys gotta stop juicing up the shield. Ooh. Bad. Okay, wow. Wow, what? Oh no, he was. I think he was bleeding. How did that happen? How did I end up losing him out of those characters? <laughs> the hustle is still applied. After this character had no ability to get anywhere, that's phenomenal. That's just extra fun. These don't add. Yeah, they don't like add any special anything. Kind of forgot about all of the shield that was taking effect. 12. So I can definitely kill the crustacean, so I ought to do so. I can definitely kill this cyclops. I did not think my buddy, my boy, was going to die. I'm going to run away to make them come to me and hope they don't have any ranged attacks or anything. And then hopefully once my turn is back around. Oh, we applied a bunch of shield to him. Not a huge fan. Not a fan of that behavior. Ten. I only have to do ten. And how how far can you can you reach? What's your movement? I don't know how to really assess that. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to assess that for all the enemies. X 
Excellent. And how did how did holding the shift work? I guess it just shows the range of where you can do things. I, I'm gonna run and hide a little bit. Not particularly afraid of this little crustacean, but I, I just need to stay alive with as much of whatever as I can. <laughs> the hopes that I get a chance to heal. He has 16 between between my various moves here. There'll be no sweat. I bet I can use hotkeys. I'm clicking down here. I can probably... Yeah, absolutely I can. That is it. That is everything. Great. He's gone. The gunslinger is not coming back. Gold and gold and something different. Extra reach and lose speed. That's kind of funny. I've neutralized my speed, but now this guy who's definitely absolutely a melee based character has this additional reach ah what do i invest in here the multi strike sure i'll i'll round my character a little bit in that sense stop at the campfire maybe i would spend soul shards max hp for party or heal party i absolutely need to heal <laughs> Select a character to heal for 35% of their max health. For 25% for 15. That's cool. I really like how that's set up. That you get to choose between people and have that sort of incremental thing going on. I'm going to do the fate card. I actually have gold and souls this time. Who knows what it's going to come asking for. Lose three gold. Gain two reward tickets. Leave the weak. Random character loses 8 health characters in next combat. Gain hustle for just one combat, though. Target character loses 1 reach. Gain 4 gold. Enemies in next encounter gain bulwark. At the start of each turn, add 4 shield and reduce value by 1. Target character gains 2 defense, like, permanently? That's, I, that's my understanding of that. I don't understand the tickets, so I will choose that. Oh, these are the tickets. So I got some gold back and a ring and some gold back. Power amplifier, plus one to everything? That seems like ungodly good. Well, I am better off with it than I am the mighty club. That's great. See, I have plus one defense through this doesn't do anything because that also added that also added plus one defense this thing's losing defense it all makes sense confirm they will be lost yes i don't think there was anything else i could do about it gold gold dang more gold than i could carry actually so that's kind of a bit of a bummer it's just me now now i get to keep all the gold <laughs> That's really funny, actually, to still have one of those scenes when you just have the singular character. Uh, a rat pack. It, what, what is this guy? A rally knight and just like a, a slime. That sounded intense. That didn't really seem like it was anything that special. A ghost. Ah, uh, what do I do here? Well, I, I should do this so that I can empower myself. So my next, whatever the next thing is I do will be better. I'll have to use both on him regardless if that's the character I want to kill. And I'm going to play the same game as last time. I'll make them come to me. I should minimize the amount of damage I, I expose myself to that way. So I think that's a fun way to do it. I will trigger a jackpot again. Because now I'll deal a bunch of damage from a distance. Oh, I did all three to one character. That is quite useful for me. <laughs> I am going to use all three of those on myself to max out shield. And now I can walk almost the entire map. <laughs> Which is quite comical because I think this guy can't walk for shit. <laughs> can move two spaces. All right, my reach, I forgot I have my uh, advanced reach now. So that has a reach of five. Oh my gosh. Can I, I can't do it from here, right? I, I, how far away? 
That's that's saying that's five away. Is there is there something that's considered in the way? Can I not do it? Will it not let me? Is it always considered? Okay, no, I, it, it will let me attack. I was worried it was going to force it to be uh, a melee thing. I should have done that first. Doesn't matter. Who knows? Maybe, maybe you can make this work even just with a singular character. I feel disadvantaged, but hey, maybe it'll actually work out. I'll auto scratch while I drink. Mm, I almost wish the potion was separate from your, like something like that was separate from equipment slots. Maybe that feels like it would get too overpowered. Uh, so I will pass. Unless that's permanent. Unless that's permanent. <laughs> Which it may very well might be. Am I willing to give up like any of the stuff that I'm holding? The reach. Maybe I don't need the reach. It's fun. But I want to learn that. That's like information I very much want to know. So now I kind of just have to hope I perform a jackpot ah still not enough experience it took zero damage in that one i have three gold so this should be great a recruit ticket a reward ticket a shop key which i, I cannot afford it will upgrade a random ability for each of your party members that's cool after taking health damage add two shields increase max health by 10 and these are straight up straight up recruits that are starting at level four. Well, we'll buy the ticket. Scratch. Oh, I'll still get the sel the selection. So that's kind of fun that I'll I'll get to choose between them. The time walker, time strike. When you have eight counters, take an extra turn. What are counters? The amount that I can move. Time slash. Oh, some of these are upgraded already. Gain time counter. Gain time counter. Okay, so that's... Okay. This character seems advanced. Whereas this guy just shoots fire. And this weakens people and bleeds people and breaks their armor and fun things like that. I think I just want the one that shoots fires and things. Because that sounds ex exciting. At least they're level 4. See, now with two party members, you have additional slots and that's how you'd be able to afford the more expensive stuff i i figured it had to be something like that good to have the confirmation that's enough things you can stop adding things a viper a bard a crazed sprite gaining shields Again, gaining shields, because they can't actually do damage. Oh, maybe they're damaging my shield. That may very well have been what was happening. <sighs> really want the jackpot. Let's see. I guess I set myself up for a quick whirler with all that reach. That's a lot of damage dealt to a lot of characters. Oh, I don't... I didn't make it to the crazed sprite. 12 so I can kill one rat and another rat I'll grab this and go hang out next to my fire buddy who is who will go next oh goodness that was more damage at once than I wanted to see not a fan Flame shield adds four shield, apply three burning to enemies in range. So they would have to be like right next to you. And this one adds eight shields and three burning. So what if I stand next to you and then activate shield to apply burning to that character? That worked. Stacking up some burns. Flame Slash, deal 13 damage and apply 13 burning. It's a hearty burn. He'll, he'll die next turn from all that burning. Snake is injured, I think, from whirling blading. The Bard attacks. I thought the Bard would strictly be a support unit. The Rally Knight, he's rallying the Viper. He gave him a bunch of shield and, and empowered. Now I'm actually quite afraid of that viper. 
single snake just jacked to shit? Maxed out on things? Oh, blinded. He's bleeding. Right, well, I can I can juice you full of shield. Maybe I should shield my buddy as well, just to be certain. I won't be able to kill the snake. You should die straight from bleeding, I think. And you, I can actually kill. I, I started hovering on the wrong thing, but that worked how I wanted it to. <laughs> I am happy with that. You know what, you can just go back. It doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter to me at this stage. Can we kill this viper? Because I very much want to do that. That's so much health. I'm very terrified of that thing. The fireball deals 7 damage and apply some burning. Oh yeah, the sprite or whatever it was called is dead. That's good to see. Good. Very happy about that. That's not what I meant to do. That sucks. That's, you move while you have the item selected. That's all that does. My reach is screwed right now. Yes, right. That makes sense. Well, I'll attempt to protect myself. Did it also improve my reach? That was an unexpected consequence. Nope. <laughs> Still no reach. Kind of just abandoned. At least you're safe from the viper. Yeah, trying to avoid that as much as possible. Stop that. Stop improving each other. That's more than I'm able to worry about at any one time currently right now. Oh my god. They're gonna kill my warrior. Well, now it's this character I unfortunately lack faith in. Doesn't really have like good items or anything on their side. I could deal 26 damage and apply like 26 burning. Is that what I want to do? Or 20 damage and... No, I do want to apply all of that burning. That is important. I want that. <laughs> Three, hey? So if I move you a step closer... And then run. <laughs> and on that next turn for this guy, he'll just die. If I burn and run... Oh no. That's too much. Stop adding so much, please. Oh, this is a long distance. A lot of shields. Jackpot. Jackpot. Not even close. Not even close. Well... Can I kill? Seven damage, seven burning. Has 10 burn applied. That's not enough for anything, really. Another one? It's really piling those up all of a sudden. I, I've maxed them out, actually. So at the end of this battle, will I just get a recruit ticket if I happen to still be alive? <laughs> it's a pretty big if. Uh, trigger a jackpot. I just better do so. Not nearly enough to kill everyone, but I think I applied burns to everyone. And he's marked with like a little, I don't know how to inspect. Oh, there we go. Soul drained, cannot trigger a revival. And he's got a bunch of burning. I don't want you to trigger revivals ever. That's an option? No, thanks. Not within range. There we go. 21 burn. He can't move very fast at all. One more to be safe, I'm thinking. Oh, my my reach somehow suddenly isn't good enough? No, I didn't have it selected properly. I'm going to step away. And they should both drop dead. The Viper is going to close in, but he's lost all his buffs. Doesn't have the the shield anymore, so that matchup's evened out a little bit. You gotta knock that off, though. 
You watch yourself, Viper. I will position myself to use my flame shield, which applies some burn. I'll chuck whatever I can at ya. That did it. That'll be enough burn to die. Hell yeah. Treasure finder. Is that just a max health upgrade? End of combat, gain four health. That'll keep you alive a, a little bit. Oh, you're lacking. You have notably less upgraded things when you recruit someone at level four rather than raising them up. It's like Pokemon rules. There, you do automatically instantly get the recruit ticket. It's not like you have to wait till you get to a shop or something. The time guy, which seems confusing. The mountain, which throws rocks, has rock armor, rock slide. What is, how does rock armor work? At the start of your turn, add two shield. And earthquake... Gain rock armor, deal damage to all enemies in range, equal to your rock armor. I like that character. The Void Speaker, deal 7 damage to 3 random targets, gain dud 2 for 2 turns. Add 2 duds to your reel. Okay. Void Consume, dam deal 4 damage to the target, deal 4 damage for each dud in your reel, remove all duds. Deal 17 damage. To a single target, add duds. Add eight shield to the target, gain duds. This character is preposterous. I'm absolutely picking them. They're so funny. That's such a weirdly unique character and so damn strange. I'm into it, you know? Oh, I could also just fate key him <laughs> away. I think he would distribute his plus one strength and nothing else. I could boost my, uh, gain bulwark, gain reward tickets. Whew, that's a lot of health lost. Lose one strength to gain for one combat. Enemy in next encounters gain extra reach, but target character gains two reach. Hmm. That could be really useful. But I think I want the reward tickets. Because right now I really don't have a lot of items. Wow, gold was the thing I needed the least. Wow, that was some garbage. No one can really afford to lose defense. <laughs> what are your what's your reach like on your things? I'll I'll add it to you. We'll try it out. How about that, pal? Max HP. No, I think I need to heal people. Healed, healed, healed. A giant spider or a devil with a pitchfork or whatever. Would I have to collect like five keys to fight that last thing? That's a lot. The party arrives at the burning gates of Bank Roldum. The great evil has ordered the city burned by his general Infernus. Look at all those flames! Makes you just want to pull up a chair and roast a marshmallow. <laughs> that makes that's really funny that he would be excited by the flames. Focus! Burning cities are not known to be peaceful places. Do the flames speak to you too? What do they say? Ah! Where did you come from? Quick! Get ready! I'm guessing there will also be random enemies. A bunch, a bunch of goblins. Exploding goblins? Are they gonna like blow up if I let them near me or anything insane like that? Cause I don't want to mess around with that. What was his thing? Jackpot, deal 36 damage to two random targets. Oh, it's been upgraded, nice. Deal three damage and apply four burning for one turn to five random targets. Five random targets, wow, no wonder that messed things up. Like, are you going to blow up if I kill you? Mm. On expire, explode 10 damage in, like, a, a perimeter. So you, you have to kill these things from a range. 350? What? Oh, my God. So I have no duds currently. Uh, if, I, if I kind of position myself here. Void volley, everything, everything gets attacked. Uh, I can then void blast something, right? Surely? 
I... There, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to click off. 17, so I can kill that guy. He'll explode. And the void consume... Deal 4 damage plus... Plus the amount of duds are only based on the amount of duds. I barely understand why that did as much damage as it did. I'm confused and petrified of this thing. What the shit? What did he just do? 16 damage and gained 15 shield. How? How do I fight something that strong? You really need a party of four with support characters if you want to make it through this game. That's immediately apparent. I have no reach. My reach is minus five. So obviously I can't go attacking those goblins because they'll blow up on me and I'll die. So I'll try to just apply <laughs> as much burning as I can for as long as I can and hope that that torment kills that guy eventually. Everyone back off. Just keep your distance, okay? I can't deal with this shit. Whoa, it's barely hurt. Did, you didn't just add more goblins, did you? Were they always back there? I sincerely hope they didn't add goblins. What do I do? What is gonna happen here? Void armor? I could protect us very, very heavily. I will, at the very least, protect myself. <laughs> Seven damage to four random targets. I have to, I kind of have to keep my distance here. What is my reach on this? Three. If I move one, move one, Use it on him to also give him some shield. Uh, back off to hopefully in attack as many of these as possible. A little bit of everything potentially. That wasn't enough to kill any of them. I really, really hoped at least one of them would die from that. <laughs> this really doesn't seem to be going well. That it's interesting, it's unique. They hurt each other. I was so curious if that would be the case. That was excellent for me. I didn't want a jackpot that time because I didn't want to blow everything up and didn't want them to hurt me. They are helping me because they're blowing up their boss quite a lot here. Oh, my reach still sucks. <laughs> what do I do? Okay, here's here's what I do. I, I do have a strategy. You will die from bleeding. So now I run the hell away and apply some flame shield and just let it go. When that goblin's turn comes up, it will just blow up and I hope it hurts its buddy. They're not within range. That won't take place. Did you just blow up on me? The exploding goblin did explosive damage without exploding. I don't like that. I don't care. I can't protect myself from that sort of shit. There, you blew up. Finally. That's something. His burning is exhausted. My reach is finally reclaimed, but like, does it even matter? <laughs> I, uh, I would put forward that it does not. I'm not going to be able to use that against anything anyways. 13 damage. Yes. Still out of range. Take you out. You were supposed to explode. I don't understand why you didn't. That's... Unfortunate for me. I'm so boned. He gets to go twice. Might as well just enjoy my water. I have one, I have one health. Really delay the inevitable with that one, hey? Consume flames. Deal seven damage to the target. Consume burning and deal damage equal to the burning value. Let me, let me lay it all out there. 
Let me blast you full of everything that I, that I got. Deal max damage. That Why did it deal so much? I thought it only would have done the amount that he was burning. That went better than it should have. I, I, can, I can at least feel that I got him down to like two-thirds health or whatever, but the party has perished, yes. Yes, of course. Damn you, Retromation. I don't know what kind of... I think I got no score because I didn't achieve anything. I didn't uh, acquire any achievements that would unlock alternate what have yous. <laughs> Defeat the Necromancer. It's cool. It's a cool game. It's unique. The super simplistic art style maybe takes some getting used to. I imagine that's not going to gel with everyone. I don't, that just opens a website. But yeah, I think it's worth checking out. It's fairly unique. It's an interesting intersection of various genres. And I imagine, you know, as you're seeing here, that they're just continuing to add new things to the game, expand and improve it as much as possible. So could be worth checking out. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.